Hey guys, Royal Bushman here, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a fire kit. And basically, in a fire kit, what you need is three ignition sources and uh, some tinder to start your fire with your ignition sources. Okay, we'll start with this uh, fire kit in the middle here. And uh, here's my three ignition sources in this bag. I have a ferrocerium rod right here that, when put to uh, a sharp object it makes a spark right there and also in this bag I have some matches everyone should know what those do and then I have a lighter never leave the bush without a lighter in somewhere in your kit then we we'll put those off to the side then we'll take out our uh, tinders Okay, I'll start off with this. This is the inner bark of poplar cottonwood. Great for uh, starting a fire with a friction fire. And uh, it has little fibers in it that help it uh, catch easily. And, uh, but it burns for a very short time. So, then here we have uh, some char cloth. It's charred cotton that when put to a very faint spark, burns like an ember, burns really hot, and it's great for uh, starting a bird's nest. And a bird's nest, I'll be showing you how to make in another video. Then we'll move on to jute. Uh, it's cordage, but also, if you look closely, there's little fibers in it that help it, that help it to get into a flame really easily. It's great for beginners, and uh, I like using it. And uh, here's some uh, fatwood. It is uh, a piece of pine infused with resin. And you scrape it off with the back of your knife, or any other sharp object, till you get uh, about an area space of a quarter of shavings. Then you use your ignition source to light it. And then, here, we uh, have some birch bark. It is. It has special oils in it that help it burn long and hot. So it's great for sustaining your little flame once you get it going. Then uh, that's it. Oh, and uh, going back to the ignition sources. Ignition sources depend on uh, your preference and your skill level. Now I've um, practiced a lot and. Uh, I uh, use a ferrocerium rod now, but if you're just a beginner, I would prefer using matches or even just a lighter. So that's it for the first kit, and then I'll move on to the second one. For kit number two, is a 18th century long hunter style kit. Um, I like this one, and we'll get right to it. In here we have. Let's just open this up. We have a candle. We have a Hudson's Bay uh, tobacco tin, and I'll show you what's in that a little later. Then we have some jute and some matches. And then down here in the bottom, it's just messy, just staying down here. So, uh, there's some uh, little pieces of inner bark, shavings, and there's some birch bark in there. And uh, that's just stuffed in the bottom, right here. And uh, let's start with the matches. Matches, again, everyone should know what those are. Um, great for beginners, again. And then we have uh, some jute, like in the previous uh, kit. Has little fibers. Good for starting your fire, for a beginner. Um, and it's also cordage. Stick that back in there. Then we have a candle. Good for illuminating your uh, shelter. If uh, if you want your fire to die down and you still want a lot of light. Uh, and then we have the tobacco tin. In here, we have a flint striker right here. It's uh, good for striking flint rocks right here or any other rocks that spark. Like that. Um, 
Then also in here we have a pencil sharpener. We have a wet fire fire starter. We have little pieces of jute. In here these are for the starting the fire. The one in the, uh, the one in the kit was for cordage purposes. And then uh, in here we have charred material right here. Again, again in the previous kit, good for uh, blowing into a flame for a bird's nest. Stick this all back in here. And then we'll move on to kit number three. Oh, and uh, sorry guys, Um, there's um, actually a magnifying glass in here. That's good for uh, solar starting your fire. And uh, again, as you see, there's one fire starter, the solar fire. There's matches, and then there's a flint striker and some flint. So there is uh, your three ignition sources. Okay, for the third and final kit, we uh, just have this little leather uh, bag-like thing. And inside there is a blast match. Good for beginners if, if you're uh, interested in using a flint and steel. Good to practice with. Uh, it gets a good spark. And uh, again, it's great for beginners. Then we uh, have some Cecil right here. Uh, it's cordage, but also there's some small fibers in here that are also good for starting your fire. But I find uh, that jute's a little better for it. Then in this uh, little tin, we have some charred material. There's some charred punk wood right here. It's just uh, some rotten wood charred in a char tin, and we'll show you how to do that in another video. And here's some char cloth. Okay, also, in here we have some matches. Uh, full pack. And again, if you notice, there is three ways to start. Oh, and there's this ferrocerium rod. And uh, if you notice again, there is three ignition sources. Ferrocerium rod, the matches, and the blast match. So, and that's basically it for kit number three. Uh, and remember, in your fire kit, you need three ignition sources and a tinner to start your fire with. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.